Get some archaeologists just out here in the middle of the ocean. And the welcome back. Mm. Still playing Civ 5. Probably gonna literally finish the game this time. Hopefully. Yeah. Five then, turns. So h how do you gain a, 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 a diplomatic point for winning that, necessarily? You, what do you mean? I mean, in five turns we vote. Yeah, in five turns we vote. Well, the votes required to become leader of the world are 47. We're not voting for the leader, though. We're voting no, for we're voting. embargo. No, we're voting world leader. Five turns. All right. Annex the city. Portland has been taken. It says, turns until the next uh, United Nations conference is four. Turns until the next world leader proposal is 14. Oh. Eh. Oh well. Alright, so. Unit needs orders. Is there oil there? There is. I'll collect you some oil. Hey, Charlie, guess oil. how much happiness I have? How much? 224. That's right. You've got, um. We don't have open borders anymore. Oh, okay. I captured a civilian unit that used to belong to Russia. Turn uh, unit. <laughs> what was it? Oh, motherfucker. Oh, it was him. Never mind. Yeah, it was him. And now. I'm heading out into the water to go find that worker belonging to Venice. We're gonna wipe the fucker clean. So Gandhi's still on the map. Yeah, but he has like a shit ton of archaeologists just floating offshore. Yeah, and I'm not really going to bother dealing with them. Uh, yeah, I'm 14 turns away from future tech. So, I may actually get an even tie between diplomacy and science. That's fine. I won't get anything done in four turns. <sighs> poor, poor Charlie. Hey, Charlie, guess how much gold I make per turn? More than me. Yes, but I want a specific number to be set. Uh, 1,258. You're actually close. Oh, wow. 1,023. Oh, wow. So, um, I mean, yeah, I was 200 off, pretty much. Um, I'm losing one gold a turn. Send me a trade deal. Or what? Just ask for one gold a turn. Why? <laughs> because I'm feeling charitable. <laughs> I'm sending you some foreign aid. <laughs> Gosh darn it. The, war the t turn ended before I could. Oh well. Just send it next turn. Washington's like, Jesus Christ, he just ate my whole continent. What is he gonna do now? Oh, great barbarians just showed up at my border.
Let us begin the hunt! Okay, let me see if I can uh, go find Venice's little lost worker. I sent you a deal. I know, I know. I just, you know, have a lot of units I'm moving around right now. Valletta is now mine. I, I'm sorry, um, what, what kind of crack are you smoking? I'm Russia. I haven't even discovered uranium yet. Yeah, that's my rebuttal. But I'm Russia, I at least have to have some uranium as I lose. No. You will get no uranium and you will like it. That's my rebuttal. I heard something move. One of your things move and it scared me. I thought you... Gosh darn it. Another counter offer? Yeah. Uh, You're gonna like this one. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for two gold to turn. <laughs> I'm actually balanced out at zero now. <laughs> I balanced out from it. Thanks for the two gold to turn. <laughs> I, I literally balanced myself back out to zero. How many turns do you have till future tech? Fourteen. Fourteen. That's all you said. You did four. Uh, no, I said fourteen. I heard that shit up. No. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Like, let's see, you. You will literally win one turn before that. Probably, yeah. And that's assuming that my science points don't increase, which they are. Fuck you. You should just, like, put all of your new cities in science research. I could instantly win if I did do that, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> in making a civilization that will last the eons. It is lasting eons. It's taken fucking months to play this game. It's true. We have actually passed by the year 2054. I see this. We're literally in the future now. Apparently, I'm the only one who's at least up to modern technology. So it's... Oh, I, I captured that old... Yeah, I, I captured the old uh, settler. It, it didn't give me an option to return it, so that tells me it's not yours. Because if it was yours, it would have given me the option. Yep. So I just had two workers taken. 
Okay, New Orleans has been taken. That okay. means now the only cities Washington have earn yourself. And I'm not going to do anything to them. Oh my god. The, that worker. The, the Venetian worker. I found him. Kill it. Yeah, he's right inside one of my allied cities. Wellington. Wellington. Where is that again? Uh, it's in the ocean to your yeah. west. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I should start making spaceship parts. <sighs> I think I'm going to make peace with Washington. Why? I, mean, I guess you did take over everything he had except for what's to myself, so. Yeah. There you go. Yep, now have fun dealing with Washington by yourself. Hmm. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to take Mother Vinny from you, that's right. Why do you want Mother Vinny? Oh yeah. That's it's right. It's a capital. I'll yeah. make a deal with you for that. I'll make a deal. Don't worry. Oh, oh, you, you want to make a deal? <gasps> that little Venetian worker just passed in front of my nuclear submarine. Quick, blow one it up. tile away. Blow I'm going to blow it up. Yes. Indian worker. He's not gone. Where'd what? He... Wait, 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 wait. Dandelo isn't gone. He's still on the board. Venice just Where? declared war against me. I know. Oh, yeah, cause... I was already at war with Venice. I'm so confused. And now I begin driving southward to smash Charlie's hopes and dreams. There you go. I'll make a deal with you. You could just have the burning city. <laughs> this shit's still on fire. I have not found that that barbarian settler yet. 
I already captured it a few turns ago. Oh, motherfucker. Wasn't yours. I sent I sent the Lancer all the way up there for nothing then. Yeah, you did. <sighs> yep, this is now the New World Order. Ramesses rules all... And if anyone has a problem with it, uh, then suck it. Why, why do I suck? And why? I don't know. Holy shit. No, never mind. Just hey, Charlie. What? Motherstone is right next to America's capital. America's capital? Oh. Yeah, Miami. That became their capital. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's They're fine. Most powerful city becomes their capital. You may actually be able to do an actual military conquest this time, Charlie. Think about it. Ah. Uh, don't be funny. Oh, I'm not being funny, Charlie. I'm being completely legitimate. You could totally do a military conquest. I already you know, took but, Miami once. You know, before I march down and smash through Moscow like the paper civilization game it is. I found a American great general. Yeah, there's a few of them. From which go from Atlanta go straight west. So the whole reason why I wanted that guy to circumnavigate the world is because now my map doesn't stop when I hit the edge. I could just keep scrolling. Let's see everything go to hell in a hamster ball next turn. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Alright, so some people, they're just standing on the side of the road showing their support for their candidate. And then someone supporting a different candidate drives by 
And they're just throwing smoke out of their exhaust onto them. I mean, it's a terrible thing to do, but it's still kind of funny. Yep, game crashed. Crashed? Well, it sent me back to the loading screen. That's where I'm at, too. I went to the loading screen. Sure you didn't win? No. If it won, it would show me a very different screen. Uh, I'm back in game. Yeah, same here. It says you're here. Embargo America passes, embargo Egypt fails. It still says you're here. Yeah, I know. It still says I'm here, Charlie. I know, just... Jesus Christ, keep up. Uh, 24 nay from Egypt for yay for Germany. So in other words, Germany, Korea, Venice, India, and the Aztecs all voted for me to do that. Huh. Well, it looks like America won't be doing any more trading, so... And I'm going to drop a save real quick. Yeah, I'd say that's a wise idea. Up, I off click the game. How am I already, how am I losing money again? Oh, because they're destroying my shit again. Yep. I've got one, two workers to take care of it all. Three workers to take care of it all and they're destroying it all. So, Charlie, were you serious about that whole thing about killing you? What? About killing you. Why is that? Um... Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Did everyone just denounce me? <laughs> no, Charlie, look at Mother Cow! <laughs> what? Did you nuke me? Oh, that is radiation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and now literally the entire world is attacking me literally <laughs> yeah you know sometimes when it rains it rains shit charlie and it didn't rain yeah. shit it rained radiation well i mean at least you killed there. one of the barbarians. <laughs> little column A, little column B. <laughs> Why'd you start with Mother Cow, of all places? Because I'm gonna have to take it. Why, why didn't I you can... just take everything else and then nuke Mother Cow? Well, 
because I'm going to have to have that capital to win a domination victory. After all, I'm only two cities away, not counting Mother Cow. Yeah, here, let me just... Air, no, I can't airlift to San Fran. Never mind, then. Choose production. Hey, can you do me a favor and blow up that barbarian that's sitting there plundering my cities? Actually, no, I can't. I'm okay. out of moves this turn. Then end your turn. No, I mean, I'm out of moves on those units this turn. I got a ton of shit still remaining. So I take it you didn't, you know, make a bomb shelter. Oh, what? You didn't make a bomb shelter, right? Why is that? Well, I was just asking, because, you know, it took out your city down to half health. No, I didn't make a bomb shelter. I don't think. I don't think I'm that far. Like, I'm working on refrigeration. Too bad most of my, well, no, most of my cities are not inland. Oh, I made a giant death robot, Charlie. Oh, good. <laughs> just, just to help you die faster. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, I promise that will be the only nuke I, uh... Oh. Six turns before I'm researching future technology. Before you're researching it, or you're done? Researching. Thought you was already researching it. No. I'm so confused. Okay, well, in eight turns, we vote for the world leader. Mm-hmm. You know, I wish there was a way you could win it all, but sadly you can't. Yep. No, because once you get one kind of victory, you can't earn any of the others. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Next turn I need to do something. Wow, apparently Mother Cow's in even worse condition than before. Yep, and now I'm gonna build a hospital. In another city. You really I, have done nothing with Mother Cow, you know that, right? I tried to build it, and I also tried to keep the frozen tundra. The forest tundra. 
a nice attack. I mean, Mother Cow is where almost all of my building and um, units come from, though, so. It's literally the most developed, or the most developed city itself. Other than that, the land is the least developed. <laughs> I see how much the world loved me. Not a single one of those fuckers declared war against you first. Now, the real question. Do what? I continue capturing your cities? <laughs> I mean, I'm losing 69 gold a turn now because of you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you can always lose more. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like if you... Well, no, if you take Mother Crow, I will literally lose more. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see how much we can get you to lose before the game ends. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. <sighs> These last turns creep along so slowly just because of how much shit I have to do. By the way, what is Fallout supposed to do exactly? It hasn't done anything. Uh, I think it mainly works on infantry units. Oh. Uh. I really don't know what it does. Um, I'm pretty sure it also makes it to where... Um... It, it, it makes it to where it can't be, um... Worked on Charlie, anymore. you, you want to know what's sad? What, the fact you probably just captured Mother Crow and I can't tell? No, no, no. I'm not actually going to touch Mother Crow. Mother Cow is not resisting me. Yeah, sorry, Mother Cow. Yeah, Mother Cow is not resisting me. Oh, she that's because won. it's been on fire for so long. Yeah. Why do you always struggle with economics so much in this game? Uh, cause barbarians burn everything down to the ground before I'm ready, or not before, while I'm currently dealing with other bullshit and have my troops other places. You should really consider playing ancient world civilizations. Why is that? Because building a f strong foundation in the ancient era will grant you a head start in all the other ones. I mean, it's just, like, literally a smart idea. You think Egypt started out as the gigantic superpower? No. Uh, I see what you mean. Play, play civilizations up. that are older. Okay. Yeah, play the old civilizations that have, you know, something to do in the ancient era. You know, like me. I wonder how long the radio uh, the radiation lasts. Forever. Seriously? I believe so. I'm going to make this easy on you. <laughs> I reached 4,075 for my score. There's only two capitals remaining. Berlin and Tenochtitlan. So if I lose everything, what exactly does that mean for me? Do I just get to watch the rest of the game? No, I think the game ends.
I just want to see if it will even let me do this. I don't think you can give away all your cities. We'll find out. Oh, I guess I have to end my turn, don't I? A deal has been proposed. Peace treaty. You have five cities. You're only offering me four. One, two, three, four. Which one am I not able to offer? Huh? And th that's what I saw too, is it only let me offer four and I have five. Are you still looking at that offer? I sent you the counter offer. I can't receive it until you end your turn. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I got some units to order around, you know. If I'm gonna finish this game, I'm gonna finish this game building. Why you don't want any of my cities? No, not really. No, the only city I took was Mother Cow because I absolutely had to have it. So because of that, I have zero science now. Oh, that's because I'm losing too much gold now. I'm giving you 500 gold to turn for... Why did you turn it down? Because it's over, man. The world's been taken over. It's over, man. Well, that's not true. Germany and Montezuma could still put up a fight if I rolled up there. I guess I should have at least taken the peace for treaty, though. Yeah, you, you probably should have taken the peace treaty. So we could stop the sequential turns bullshit. Yeah. Well, you want to just offer a basic peace treaty, then? No. You will accept that 500 gold, and you will like it. Then re-offer it. No, you must beg for it. <sighs> Either way, I win in five turns. I see this. Five or six? No, five. For what victory? Uh... The vote for world leader. Okay.
Oh, look at the happy continent of India. Now just going around and being happy. Yeah, you know why Gandhi uh, was doing so well, Charlie? Why? Because he built mines on every mountain and he put a trading post on every desert tile. Yep. Your turn. Says waiting for players. But just do you remember this here, Charlie? What? Because I'm going to bring this up every time we're in any sort of game situation. Remember it good. You're going to say this. I suck so bad at Civ Five. my friend had to offer me foreign aid. <laughs> well, you had to f offer me foreign aids? Damn. Not the AIDS. Yay, deal with set the next turn because I ain't got shit to do. You know, you're getting 500 gold the turn now. Still ain't got shit to do. All I could do is research and build. Just keep building. That's all I could do. And actually, I'm only getting 440 gold a turn. Because I'm offsetting your debts. Yeah. Absolutely you are. And basically, your rich friend who has to come and bail you out of every situation. Oh look, my second nuke is finished. Oh, good. You shouldn't nuke Miami. No. Why? This I said I was only going to fire one nuke. Why? And I meant it. Why? There's only two nukes available in the whole game. What are you talking about? You can make as many nukes as you want. I thought only one player could build a nuke, and then you got the uh, Manhattan Project, which gave you a nuke. No, Charlie, the Manhattan Project is what enables a civilization to produce atomic bombs and nuclear missiles. Oh, okay. No, as long as you have uranium, you can make all the nukes you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, I sense that you've never actually gotten that far. No, I've made nukes. I I've almost had a complete victory on a solo game. I just you know, lost the save file after I didn't play it for like two years. Oh my, Charlie. Peace treaty expired. Oh, with Washington. Discovered nanotechnology. I'm doing future tech now. Yay, I'm literally waiting for you to win this. I'm just going to hit enter. You should just hit enter too. Go ahead and just well, end this. I can't just hit enter though. Uh, yes, you should be able to right click on it and it still end.
No, no. Or shift click on it, something like that. Nope. Also, that's two turns away, Charlie. But we vote this turn, don't we? Hey, culture victory in reach. Your culture only needs to become influential with two more civilizations to win a culture victory. <laughs> but you're going to win a diplomatic one. I don't know, Charlie. There's a strange wind blowing. Oh my god, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now, this is probably the most money I've, I've had this entire game. Yep. <laughs> and, and I just literally threw it at you and said, here, take it. To take it. I'm, all, I'm about to burn down the whole, the whole planet. Enjoy it while you can. I'm not going to burn it down. I'm going to rule it. <laughs> going to burn down eventually. I'm going to be the world leader. I'm in charge. No Charlie's can, allowed. Can you just end your fucking turn? No, I want to go out building. You are going out building. I'm going to build till the very last turn. And commit. Do not know how my Lancer is alive, but he is. <laughs> I just attacked him for you. Mm -hmm. Hey, I see your death robot. Yeah. So who'd you vote for? <sighs> Next time we'll have to play Ark. Yep. By the way, Charlie, there's something I should probably tell you. What? Thank you. You have tried to the <laughs> Hey, I got the last man standing Your achievement. Cunning and wisdom have earned you great friends, and divided and sown confusion among your enemies. Win, at, win Forever any multiplayer match. As the leader who brought peace. Well, game's over, Charlie. Exit to main menu. <laughs> I, I got an achievement for winning. I know, dipshit. Haven't you figured it out? No. I Who haven't. do you think I put my 51 votes towards? Did you just give them all to me? Yep. What the fuck? Well, I'm going to quote two of my favorite movies about the gamer condition. Right I'm here, so right confused. now. What? The first one was Spy Kids 3D. Okay. In it, the big villain was Sylvester Stallone. Okay. And at the very end of the game... Uh, Junie's grandpa, who had been betrayed by Sylvester Stallone, told him that he forgives him, and that he did not come here to seek revenge. And so, Sylvester Stallone, touched by this, ends the game. Oh. And the short-sighted idiots at the spy agency said, I don't get it. Who won? And he said, it's not about who wins or loses. It's about how you play the game. Right. And then there was Ready Player One, who also said the same thing. It's about the experience. It's not about the victory. Nobody ever plays the video game uh, to reach the end of the road. They play it for the experience. I know a lot of people that play just to win, and I fucking hate them. Yeah. They, they don't know how to have fun. <laughs> no, true. those people those people are losers. 
Alright, well, until then, I hope y'all have enjoyed this. Um, I won. Though it was given to me. Asterisk. Asterisk, Charlie. Come on, be humble. Yes, it was <laughs> given to me. Until yeah. then, I will see y'all next time. I hope y'all have enjoyed, though I, uh, I feel like this last video probably sucked quite a bit. Until then, have a good day. Bye. Bye.